Hello, my name is Jeff Edwards here from Energy Control Systems. Today I'd like to talk to you about the topic of surge suppression. You know, in the power quality industry, uh, very few things gender as much discussion, confusion, or opinion in this particular product area. You, know, you can go to any internet search engine and type in surge protection or, or SPD and immediately have thousands of options from which to choose. You know, it's not going to take long for you to be absolutely overwhelmed by the varied opinions, by the varied options and jargon that's associated with uh, surge protectors. Everything from modes of protection to peak surge current to UL1449. You know, quite honestly, very little of what is found that you're going to read there is going to be useful. Most of us just want to know what do I need to order and how can I buy it? You know, I'm privileged to travel around the world uh, with our company talking about this particular uh, topic. You know, I find that the questions about surge protection seem to be quite similar across the world. Uh, a lot of people uh, will say, no, you know, we don't have lightning here, or no, we don't have surges or transients, but typically the number one comment that comes to the service is, you know, Jeff, I've tried surge protectors and they simply don't work. Now, while that is almost universally true, you know, it does make our job of selling a bit more difficult. And you know, what most people really mean deep down is, you know, Jeff, I have surge protectors and I've used them for this particular area of need uh, with our processing system or our data center or our PLCs or whatever, and I'm not getting the results. I'm using a product that I thought was good, but I'm not getting any benefits or results in this particular situation. You know, I, I agree with that assessment. Reason being is most of the time they have the wrong tool for the job. You know, I'm not much of a mechanic inclined, but I do know that you cannot tighten a nut with a screwdriver. Translated over into the world of surge protection, Clients are attempting to use 20th century technology or 20th century surge suppression to protect and ensure the operation of 21st century technology. It simply is not going to work. In general, that design of suppression technology was never designed to work and prevent the typical problems we're finding today in industry. Now, like you, there are definitely times I like to work on my computer with a hammer, but it's simply not the wisest choice. So all around the world and, and visiting with maintenance and operational personnel that have been tasked with implementing technology to improve profitability, to improve production, to uh, you know, reduce downtime by implementing technology, yet they're, they remain totally frustrated with the lack of results. And all too often we chase that back to the quality of power that's being utilized to power the 21st century technology. That same power that was sufficient in the 90s is no longer sufficient in the 21st century to get the benefits of 21st century technology. You know, the uh, electrical operational tolerance required for PLCs and drives and elevators and SCADA systems, and the list goes on, is just radically different. Why? Obviously due to the rapid increase in processor speeds, the likelihood of processing errors has increased exponentially. Given that the language of computers is ones and zeros, if all the ones and zeros are in the right order or in the right place, all is fine. However, it ceases to be fine when those ones and zeros get out of order. And that's the problem that we face today. Here at ECS, we can virtually eliminate the typical software confusion that you have certainly experienced by deploying technology found in our surge products. It really requires a paradigm shift from what we were using that was acceptable to what needs to be implemented today. If you've confessed that surge protection does not work, then you need the frequency attenuating technology found in the products offered by ECS. Here in the USA and more than 40 countries around the world, we are the standard in surge protection. Now we'll be back again soon to discuss the intricacies and in more detail the technology that we offer. Thank you.